Hi, I'm Candy Cooper here to show you a really exciting project that is inspired by a very special artist named Piet Mondrian. When we look at these finished examples that I've made, you can see that Piet was all about using really geometric shapes like squares and rectangles. I'm gonna show you how to make your own project, so let's take a look at what we need to do that. You're gonna use some oil pastels. These are special um, uh, art tools, we call them, that go on light and dark paper beautifully. You can get them in small and larger sizes. You'll need some black construction paper. Uh, you may need a sketchbook, and you'll need some special artist tape. This is um, skinny tape that does not stick to paper. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. So to get starting, started, we're gonna grab our special artist tape, and you're gonna start blocking out your paper like so. And you wanna kinda lay your tape down so that it's parallel um, to the edges of the paper. And you can make it all different widths. And just kind of pat the tape down. You don't have to get crazy smoothing. And you'll want to go this way as well, perpendicular to your first lines. And we can make really skinny. You can see how we're starting to get some boxes, really skinny and tiny. You can also make some that are large like so, and then you would just keep breaking your pieces down until you get like eight to 15 boxes. They start popping up fast the more tape you put down. Okay, now for the fun part. Piet Mondrian only worked in primary colors, and we know those as red, yellow, and blue, but he also added in non-colors, white, and black. So let's keep those handy while we work and start filling the, in our squares. Now, because you're the artist, you can pick your own colors that you like, of course, but since this project is directly inspired from Piet Mondrian, I'm sticking to the uh, primary colors. And of course, we don't need a black oil pastel because our paper's black. But the cool thing about these oil pastels is that they go on dark paper, and you can see how they cover the paper beautifully. And let's work in some red. You wanna to try to put your colors um, next to each other so that they're contrasting. And you can work in white. Look, can you believe that this white oil pastel goes over the black paper and covers it? This is like magic to me. And you're gonna keep working. And sometimes I'll let this, um, the oil pastels kind of sit for a little bit and I'll go and add a second uh, coat. And let's use this big blue oil pastel for the big squares. And you can go in any direction. And I'm just kind of coloring over my tape a little bit so that I make sure I get the color all the way up to the edge. And then now a skinny one. Let's grab a red for this teeny tiny box. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, I've got one ready here, and I've got one more box to fill in. Let's do it in blue. And it's almost time for the big reveal. Are you ready? This is like my favorite part. It's so um, amazing to see this tape. Now, you wanna kinda of peel the tape off uh, where it's on top of the last piece of tape, if that makes sense, so you don't have a big tape mess going on. And you can see how I have these nice crisp lines because of that paint. And you're just gonna keep peeling up those top layers of paint. I said paint and I meant tape. That's how excited I am. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep going and going and going until you have a finished piece like the one I have here. And I just love how with that tape, We've got these really crisp edges. And then if you look at my other one, this is where I broke away from the Piet Mondrian style. And I used some teal and some lime green and red and yellow, and it almost gave it like a stained glass window effect. Very cool. So real fast, I wanted to show you a little page in my sketchbook that I did before I started my oil pastel uh, Mondrian piece. And um, I went onto the internet and I kind of did a little homework and I learned that Piet Mondrian 
it was uh, Dutch, and he worked, we know, in the primary colors like we talked about. You can see this is one of his artworks here. And I like to print off pictures so, you know, I see like who made this work. And um, he kept everything really horizontal and uh, vertical lines. He never did diagonals or crisscrosses. And then because this is our dress up um, episode, I thought it'd be fun to print out a picture. I'll show you the before. I printed out a picture of Piet himself in his studio. I thought this was such a cool photo. And then on the computer, I printed out some um, of my faces and I made them black and white so it went with the photo. And I cut them out and then uh, glued my face on Piet Mondrian's body just for fun. And then I used some special um, pens to sort of start coloring in some boxes, just doodling a little bit. Now, if you wanna really bump up your sketchbook and make it look really cool and collagey, you can use these special tapes that are printed, really fun, and trim out your um, artworks like this. Um, for my sketchbook, I like to use the mixed media paper so I can uh, put all different kinds of things in it, like tape, glue stick, marker. And that's it, Piet Mondrian.